Karsten. Hi. 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 How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm pretty fine. I'm pretty <laughs> fine. A little bit, a little bit, um, yeah, exhausted because I hate working from home and we need to work from home because our campus in Rheinbach uh, uh, suffered from the flood uh, uh, um, catastrophe uh, last uh, summer. And we can't go back to on campus at the moment because there is a lot of renovating and uh, I could use my office, but we don't have electricity, we don't have internet, we have, don't have uh, 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 heating. So I have to work from home and it's the second year now. So and I'm, the, I'm so over with it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. But it's fabulous to see you. Yes, it's so long time ago. <laughs> So a long time ago, that's right. So hi everybody. Hello. Oh, I would say this okay, is... good afternoon. L Laurie, yeah, good I want to good morning. I want to be where you are, Laurie, with the yeah. nice breeze and the ocean in the background. <laughs> well, it's not quite our ocean, but I know it it's yeah, we don't have the coconut trees and but it's as close as I could get. <laughs> Gives a good vibe. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe I just can change a little bit and uh, blur my background out. Yeah. Okay. Now um, yeah. I am recording this. Okay. Yeah. So um, I mean, it is not. No, well, actually, it's eleven um, here. So I'm a Tuesday. So I'm not sure um, if we're going to have students or faculty join us. I hope. Mm -hmm. But um, if not. We're recording it and we will certainly share it out to students and faculty and everybody that we can okay. through our social yeah. media as well. Yeah, okay. So, um, so yeah, um, we could wait a few more minutes just to see, because I think we said 11. It's not quite 11, so we could wait a few more minutes and just yeah. chat. So how have you guys, been, I mean, other than having to work remote, how mm -hmm. are things? Pretty good so far. Pretty good. Pandemic is uh, just oh, we had so many uh, uh, our incidents of of uh, infected people are so high during the winter times. Um, I got boosted already, so I had, uh, had my third vaccination in, in December. <laughs> but uh, it doesn't matter. Omicron is uh, uh, is the main virus at the moment, and um, yeah. <clears throat> But we are getting better, and uh, uh, at the middle of March, they will reduce all the um, restrictions and uh, hope we can go back during the summer to a more normal life. So you're saying March? You're that's what they're is that what they're saying in March? They're going to yes. release? I mean, yeah. release yeah. some of the restrictions? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Our government says we we just reached the Omicron peak. And mm -hmm. now due to the warmer weather and so many people got infected by it now, it will go down and then there's no, no um, explanation or no need anymore for the strict regulations we have in some places. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. I mean, we good. will still have to wear masks in public transportation and in some facilities, but other than that, they lift a lot of restrictions by March. Yeah, let's see. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. Um, we just um, last, well, on the 17th, which was last week, um, mm -hmm. we were wearing masks um, everywhere on campus. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And they just uh, last, like I said, on the 17th. Um, in some areas, yes, on public transportation on campus, our uh, transportation um, in certain areas, yes, you still have to wear a mask, but um, for the rest of us, you know, in our areas, our spaces, we, we don't. Um, however, I never leave home without it. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. still, yeah, because I'm so confused um, and I'd rather wear it because next week they may say, oh, well, you've got to wear, it. I'm just going to wear it when I'm out. And then when I go home, when I'm in my car, yeah. when I get home, then, you know. Because it's kind I mean, of like a roller coaster. 
you know. Yeah. And there's yeah. not much yeah. harm wearing it. Of course, it's not right. the co most comfortable, right. but it's not much harm just wearing right. it, exactly. right? When I leave home now, it's like, do I have my keys? Do I have my phone? Do I have my mask? It's already so <laughs> normal. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, all of the, all of the um, essentials, right? Yeah, Which right mean? now it's those, yeah, <laughs> those three. <laughs> yeah, and on the other hand, maybe we get used to it in, in, during the cold uh, 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 times in the year of the year when we uh, uh, have cold when we have uh, uh, in a uh, 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 flu that we wear stuff, yeah, yeah. Uh, that we that we wear our uh, mask because not to uh, only to uh, protect ourselves uh, also protect others so well, also, i remember it's funny because we we did have some cold weather but i mean i know it's you know it looks like it's always great you know, behind us, but we do, we do get, you know, some rather yeah. cold temperatures and the mask actually helps keep my face warm. So <laughs> that's true. Sometimes it's even more comfortable in the winter, yeah. right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's sometimes hard to recognize people. Now when it's cold, we have the the uh, our heads on and the mask on and the big scarf. And it's like, okay. I know your jacket. That's good because exactly. otherwise I would not recognize you. <laughs> or, or they recognize your 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 stance or your walking. You know exactly something um, like that. I know yeah. A lot of my friends know my my gait when I'm walking. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like mm -hmm. that's got to be Lori. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, it yeah. is a few minutes after eleven, so you know we can we want to be punctual. Um, so mm -hmm. I okay. will let you. Um, present um, okay. and then if you have any questions for me um, or if I have any questions for you we can we can take those um, at the end if that sounds okay to, to both of you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah we do okay so in this case I would start if, uh, uh, the same way as uh, students would be here because I'd like to show you first um, oh you need to oh, wait um, hold on let me oh gotta yeah. share my screen mm -hmm. So I can make you guys co-hosts. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oops. Um, forgot to do that. That's what I need to do first. Okay. So now it looks uh, pretty cool. Okay. Now. Okay. So the first thing I uh, want to show the students is that this is the place where you're studying at the moment i guess and yes. uh yeah and i remember i have a, a lot of uh, uh really good times in, uh, at coastal carolina because i started uh, uh with the summer school program in 2001 as a student uh, at coastal so the first time when i were in uh in South Carolina and at Coastal Carolina University. And this is the way you have to, yeah, <clears throat> drive, fly or whatever. I'm not <laughs> sure how fast it goes to arrive in Germany. So <clears throat> my Google Earth is <clears throat> in German. So uh, the German name for Germany is Deutschland. <laughs> and as you can see here, uh, Germany is this uh, place and here is our capital city in the far east of Germany. And um, these uh, four points are uh, the western part of Germany and this is where we are located. So we are very close to Cologne, one of the uh, fourth uh, biggest uh, cities in, in Germany with one million uh, a little bit over 1 million uh, <clears throat> citizens. And uh, the next biggest city is our former capital, Bonn. And as you can see, we are located at two locations. One is in St. Augustine. This is our main campus uh, with all the administration and uh, so on. And the second one is uh, around what's about 30 kilometers away on the other side of the Rhine in the Eifel. And this is where I work on in St. Augustine is uh, the place where Jana is working. And I'm very sorry, I had to, uh, I should have started with a short introduction. So my name is Carsten Heinrich and Jana is my colleague. She is uh, 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 working for, uh, for the International Business Study Program. And uh, yeah, we will, uh, 
Uh, I guess you would say something about your job uh, uh, after uh, after my presentation. Okay, I switch over to my presentation, and uh, yeah, very impolite from uh, of me. <laughs> But yeah, students know that I am sometimes a little bit impolite. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> so I uh, say study abroad in the middle of Europe in Bonn at Hochschule Bonn Rhein Sieg. That means uh, we are facing a long term partnership with, with Coastal because, uh, as I said, in 2001, our exchange program started. And uh, we had last year our 20th uh, anniversary. And uh, usually uh, we have a May semester when students from Coastal come over to, uh, to Europe on a business trip. They stay one week in our region and we uh, offer uh, a cultural and uh, as well as an academic program for, your student, uh, for the students in cooperation with the Hochschule Koblenz bon uh, Rhein A campus. And on the other hand, we are going to uh, coastal three weeks in the summer and uh, <clears throat> participating in a, in a summer school program uh, with the Wall uh, College. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I have also, and I hope that I um, uh, just need to stop again, sorry. Technical issues, I should not have known this, but yeah, doing online classes so often. I have a short introduction video to our uh, uh, university. Hochschule bonn sieg is located in the heart of the Rhineland with Cologne and Bonn close nearby and three campuses in St. Augustin, Rheinbach and Hennef. Our university is a place of conviviality. Our inclusivity and sense of community truly set us apart. All of our teaching, studying and research takes place in small groups and in relaxed, familiar surroundings. Our selection of around 40 programs of study is interdisciplinary and places an emphasis on practical application of the course content. Our dynamic and modern institution provides its approximately 10,000 students with the best possible study and research facilities. <laughs> foreign languages, study abroad programs, international collaboration. Here at Hochschule bonn sieg we produce highly qualified specialists and leaders of the future. As a university with a strong emphasis on research, we are able to use our top class facilities to conduct research into current trends, while also tackling the greater challenges faced by society as a whole. In doing so, we remain grounded in our local roots, but with international perspective. We are a certified family-friendly institution. It is important to us that those at our university have time for their families while also pursuing their chosen career or course of study. Enroll at Hochschule bonn sieg and take advantage of the variety of options on offer. Yes, so this is our, this was our two campuses and where we're located here, you can see. Okay. A short map or a, a little map of it, Bonn, and here's Rheinbach, and there's St. Augustine. Uh, the Department of Management Science is the largest department of our university. Uh, and uh, we are very well connected to companies in the region, especially uh, DHL is uh, uh, <clears throat> the main <clears throat> Uh, the headquarter is located in Bonn and uh, uh, different other, the German Telekom and uh, uh, different other uh, bigger companies around uh, uh, our area. And uh, we have uh, around 2,900 students and, uh, uh, on two of the locations in St. Augustine and, and Rheinbach. Uh, our department uh, <coughs> Uh, uh, offers nine study programs in total. There are three bachelor study programs. As you can see, business management, business psychology, and international business, as well as six master study program, uh, programs in business psychology, controlling and management, CSR and NGO management, innovation and information management, as well as marketing and startup de uh, development. Um, the red ones are uh, not usable at the moment because they have a higher tuition fee, and I'm not sure if it's possible to choose some of the courses over there. And as you can also can see is the most of the programs are in German. 
but our business management uh, study programs offers English speaking or English taught uh, classes as well uh, international business is the complete uh, program is in English and marketing uh, master's program is also in English and uh, <clears throat> that's the reason why I just um, highlighted the uh, three study programs in blue and bold. So these are the programs where you, where you can ch uh, choose courses from. Um, <clears throat> I just want to give you an example of one of our certificates. We are offering the International Management Certificate ends with a certificate or is you, you will get a uh, certificate after passing all classes at the end of your stay at our university. And uh, uh, the modules uh, uh, we are offering is the, the specialization or major in international management. And here you can see the, the sub courses you have to uh, <clears throat> Uh, attend and uh, pass the, uh, an overall exam at the end of the semester, as well as intercultural communication and elective in comparative international business studies. Uh, studies. And as an alternate, alternative electives, you can choose scenario planning or a German language course. Why not uh, learning German when you are staying for one or two semesters here? We also have uh, a course overview, and I will uh, provide it to, to Laurie, uh, our course overview. And uh, if you have any questions, then you can ask her to uh, get the overview. And if you have uh, questions to a special uh, or special courses listed in there, then you are very welcome to contact me. So coming to our contact data, we have one is our international office welcome center who are support all the application process and is uh, uh, very good connected to your international office and concerning uh, uh, departmental uh, questions or course questions. This is my um, <clears throat> contact da uh, data and uh, <clears throat> yes, I'm the departmental coordinator. So and in, in case you have questions, yeah, just contact me I'm, uh, and I'm, very happy and uh, to see you maybe next time on our campus. So now I'd like to uh, give over uh, to my colleague Jana. Okay, thank you very much, Carsten. I will also share my presentation quickly. Um, and um, yeah, should be seen now. So yeah, also, um, hello from my side. Um, I'm Jana Kohl, as Carsten Heinrich has already mentioned. I am working at the uh, fully English taught um, bachelor's program of international business. But um, I'm also currently um, or new in the position to coordinate the digital internationalization at our department. And um, this is what I want to talk about. So um, as Carsten uh, mentioned, you're very welcome to join us for one or two semesters at one of our campuses in the really nice um, area in the Rhineland. But additionally to that, to a physical mobility, we also offer um, or we are starting to offer more and more virtual or digital programs so that you can join us without having to travel. Um, COVID, um, yeah, forced us all um, to, to start the digitalization process. It was um, more or less um, developed before, but now this gave us and so many other universities a real push to uh, work on that, um, yeah, on that topic and to allow students who are for what Ever reasons not um, able to physically travel to another country for a longer time to still have some international experience. So um, quite at the beginning of the pandemic, even before um, a professor in our study program of international business has started the so-called code share teaching and learning program. Um, and the idea is that um, following the, the principle of code share sharing in airplane companies and flight companies um, to open courses at partner universities to their respective students so that um, courses are not only visited, for example, by our students at HBRS, but also from our partner universities and 
our partner professors in the network do the same. They open their courses to students um, from other students at the network. Um, these are the partners we have started with. You see Coastal Carolina University is already partner of our network. Students were able to join courses offered in the last year. And also um, Professor um, Jeff Wexman, he also offered to open one of his courses. So if you have been studying in his courses, uh, you might have already um, gotten in touch with students from Ghana um, or from Germany or even from Finland. Um, we are now extending our program and um, yeah, we are welcoming different partner universities to join the network, to offer their courses and um, also to allow them to join the courses offered in our, um, yeah, in our network. Um, to open courses for students at other universities is beneficial for all sides. So on the one side, we are extending our curriculum, but for the students, it is a truly um, international experience working in groups together with students from various nations from all over the world, um, which, um, yeah, we got a really good feedback from, from the last year. So, yeah, that's what we are focusing on um, in further next steps. So um, what we offer is on the one side, uh, a program in digital international general studies. Um, that means these are courses in general studies, not connected to one, um, to one field of study precisely, but sometimes it's um, general politics combined with, with um, business studies or it's soft skills courses. And um, they all take place online and yeah, students from our partner universities can join them. They have different formats such as seminars, guest lectures, workshops. Um, yeah, the international networking um, is also promoted there um, in a high scale. Um, you see the, uh, the, the links here in the presentation. So for the current offers and the registration periods and registration procedures, you can check the information there. Mm, and on the other hand, what I already mentioned is our code share teaching and learning courses. These are the courses from other faculties of management or business studies that um, are offered for students in the network. Um, I already men mentioned one big advantage is um, that it has very international study groups. Students um, are um, forced or they are asked to work together in, in international groups. Um, and these courses have synchronous and asynchronous uh, learning elements. That means um, there are online sessions that are visited together from uh, all students at the same time, but there's also group work outside of these online sessions. Um, I noted here, rec recognition is planned for this year. That means at the moment we are in the process of having uh, agree an agreement um, developed and signed with uh, Coastal Carolina University so that students who take part not only uh, take away a nice certificate, but to see if they can also get the courses recognized. Um, even without recognition, if you decide you want to join a course and the certificate is enough for you, you're more than welcome to join us. Um, for each semester's uh, course offers, you should also um, regularly check our website. Um, I will publish everything there. And one part that we are, um, that we are focusing more on this year is the Digital Code Share Teaching and Learning Summer School. We did that already last year. So that was our trial run and it went really well. So we will adapt um, this format to this summer, um, even though we are expecting um, more possibilities to get together on campus in bigger groups, we will still offer a, vari a variety of courses um, online or maybe hybrid that's um, still to be discussed. And unfortunately, up to today, I don't have very precise and detailed information because we are just now in the, in the process of planning it. So um, I will have more detailed information available in mid-March and I uh, will happily send them over to Laurie as well. So you, you have the, the, the latest update. We again plan a four-week program with one-week intensive courses. So this will be 
um, con these four week intensive courses will consist of uh, regularly online meetings. There we are trying to find a good time during the day that suits uh, SWES students from the US as also in Europe. Um, so that none of you have to get up super early or have to stay up super, super late. Um, that's of course a challenge, but I think we can manage um, at least for some of the courses. Um, one part we are discussing now is when to start with the summer school and two options are either in mid-July and then running for four weeks or at the end of August running for four weeks then. All courses, of course, will be taught in English and will be taught online or, as I mentioned, maybe hybrid, but there will always be the option to join in virtually. And um, that's, I think, also uh, became clear from what I said, it will be taught by lecturers at international partner universities. Um, yeah, and it is free of charge for students of the, uh, of the partner network. This might be interesting. Um, for a lot of students. And again, recognition is planned for CCU students as well. We will keep you updated then. And if you're really interested and get in touch with us, we can um, yeah, provide further information on that. And that was already it from my side. Hopefully we will meet some of you in our virtual courses. And um, of course, always feel free to contact me um, in case you're interested, um, you find the contact details here and in the previous presentation also. Yeah, <laughs> now I would come to the part if there are any questions, but uh, we will just put the questions in whenever you feel like contacting us. <laughs> Laura, we cannot hear you yet. <laughs> Well done, and thank you both. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> so, um, yes, I am going to reach out to, obviously, one of my target um, audiences will obviously be uh, the Wall College of Business, but mm -hmm. um, the uh, one of the programs that you mentioned, um, offering other, other courses as well. Um, mm -hmm. So um, I know you mentioned politics as an example. Um, or maybe some of our, uh, our what we would consider core requirements, even mm -hmm. for our business students who need those. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm certainly going to reach out and share this with with the other colleges as well. Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. So um, I don't. I do have a question. We did talk mm -hmm. about this prior to beginning the session um, about um, Germany. Um, loosening or not uh, in March, loosening up some of the restrictions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, one of the things that we are still doing here um, at Coastal, we are um, approving our study abroad programs on it still a case by case basis um, because mm -hmm. of COVID and the pandemic that still um, is, is out there, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we are asking our partners to provide to us um, their COVID-19 protocol. Um, mm -hmm. And that would be um, if our student arrives and is, is tested positive, um, what steps would the university do to assist the student um, in terms of quarantine, providing um, uh, care, for the student while the student mm -hmm. is, is there. Mm -hmm. And, um, and of, of course, this would be under better circumstances when it is, you know, face-to-face, uh, -face, person to person learning um, and not yes. remote. Um, so that would be something that, that I would be asking uh, for those, uh, for, for both of you to provide so that I can then provide that to our risk management mm -hmm. health committee. Mm -hmm because they, mm -hmm. that's something that they review just to make sure that our students are, um, that there is a, a protocol plan in place, um, should, hopefully not, but should students um, find themselves um, abroad mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and yeah. um, have tested positive, what, what support is there for them? Yep. Um, so that's not something you need to provide to me, obviously, um, today in this session is not really about that, but um, mm -hmm. I think as students listen to this presentation, 
I need to make them aware that regardless, we are always, you know, as we all are, we're always going to be uh, first and foremost the health and safety of our students. So um, that's kind of why I do mention that during the presentation mm -hmm. so that they know that, um, yes, um, until we, we find ourselves back to as normal as possible, um, you know, we, I think we all have to continue to, to, to look towards um, the COVID and, and possibilities um, abroad mm -hmm. as well. Maybe one, one thing I should mention uh, as information for, for the students coming to our university or in, uh, in general to Germany to study here is uh, that we are usually not offer uh, on-campus uh, accommodation. So they usually have apartments from the student, um, what is Studentenwerk? It's a German name. It's, a, it's a, uh, an institute who offers accommodation in Bonn and, and, and so on. So they can uh, um, apply there for, for an apartment to reduce cost. And um, I think we have our study pro uh, study buddy program. So when international students come over to Germany and to our university, they will have a study buddy at their side uh, to have them uh, to yeah to know uh, everything in uh, what to do in Germany, administrative uh, stuff and and so on. And I think I'm not sure, but this is what we will provide you in, in case of an infection and uh, positive testing. I guess uh, uh, that the study body will organize everything. So uh, not a direct contact, but uh, <clears throat> grocery shopping and bring it to, to the door and everything. Uh, I'm sure that will be that will be. about our um, policy we have and what our university uh, told us what we have to do. And uh, yeah, and things change <laughs> so <Yeah>. often. <laughs> so true. Um, so, yeah. that, and that's something that um, um, I will be asking um, for updates on your, you know, the, mm -hmm. the estimated cost of, of um, accommodations um, mm -hmm. So obviously, un, uh, having uh, the fact that I know that, because um, that's always been the case for students um, going to um, uh, your university, um, they will be cooking their own meals for the most part. Um, so yes, that's one of the things that I've always done is trying to put together an estimated budget um, to give mm -hmm. students a sense of their overall cost. Um, associated with their study abroad um, experience. Um, yep. So um, thank you for, you know, for that um, updated information as well. Um, we know cost of living for everyone has gone up over the years. Yes. So yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And as I said, we haven't had a lot of our students this, this semester. Uh, we did have a few students that uh, were approved to go out mm -hmm. in the fall, not many. Um, we have um, more that went out in the spring. Um, still, we're not at the, the, the numbers that we were um, pre-COVID. I don't think um, any of us are. Um, but so it's been a while since I've had to put together a, an updated budget. And like I said, the cost of living has impacted all of us. So um, I'm going to have to increase uh, the estimated budgets for these students. But mm -hmm. so I appreciate you sharing that information, um, any updates that you have. Yeah, uh, and we have only contribution fees, uh, uh, no tuition fees. So uh, at, at lower cost, again, I, I think it's uh, around three hundred euros at the moment. A little mm -hmm. bit more, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But included, there is a public tra transportation for the whole semester for uh, our uh, uh, complete federal state. So uh, you can travel to Münster and yeah, not so far in the south because Rheinbach is uh, owned. Uh, uh, just at the border of the next federal state in Germany. So, <laughs> yeah, but there's a, a yeah a whole bunch in, included in this in this contribution fee. So um, it's not very big. So I do want to ask both of you though. Um, I understand um, again things things change. Um, there's now requirement 
because in, in the past students could arrive in Germany and receive their residence permit, et cetera, the visa. But I understand now um, it, it's um, being strongly recommended that students get their visas prior to. Um, is that, uh, and I've been, I've been kind of working with, when, with um, some of my colleagues um, in other univers US universities, mm -hmm. and this is what they're hearing. So I'm as, as you know, you're one of our German partners. Um, is this something that is being pushed now as opposed to in the past? Uh -huh. Yeah, um, honestly, in this case, uh, our welcome center and the international office is more integrated in this uh, uh, visa processes and everything. So um, I don't have any um, act uh, uh, current information about this, if there's okay. a difference. The only thing I, I know is <clears throat> that we, we have, yeah, if you travel, you don't need uh, all the testings and, and, and everything. So and uh, I'm not sure if there are restrictions for uh, different states, which makes it a little bit harder to get a visa for Germany. But yeah. okay. sorry, I can't. No, that's OK. I just any I have you, that... you know, I have you here <laughs> and wanted to take this opportunity to, yeah. you know, <laughs> kind of pick your brain and, you know, ask, ask these yeah. Questions. Um, <laughs> One idea that I have is that um, also the public offices, right, like the foreigners office, they mm -hmm. work with uh, lower face-to-face um, -face appointment time, this and that. So maybe this is something they recommend so that they lower the, the, the workload, let's say, or the, 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 the traffic of, of people visiting the office, but I'm also not so sure. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, this was this is information that's coming from my colleagues mm -hmm. at other U.S. universities that that um, we share information, um, and they've had um, not a lot, um, but they've had a few of their students that um, you know in the past it wasn't um, you know mm -hmm. something that the students had to to do a lot before arriving in Germany. But mm -hmm. now it is kind of a reverse. Um, so I, I just thought I would ask. So yes, mm -hmm. I'm going to reach out to, I'll continue to use them. Uh, and I'm also going to be reaching out to the consulate, um, mm -hmm. you know, the German consulate um, mm -hmm. that we work with uh, primarily and, and, you know, ask them about the changes if there are any. Yeah, mm -hmm. but if there are really students interested in coming, the as Carsten mentioned, the Welcome Center, they provide really good um, yeah, counseling and all these kind of questions. And I'm sure they also in contact with the foreigners office and the consulate and all this. So mm -hmm. um, they should be able to help for concrete yeah, questions for the students, for sure. Right. <laughs> well, again, thank you so very much, both of you. Um, Thank um, you. Thanks for having so us. It's so great yeah. to, to meet yeah. you. Um, yeah. Carsten, it's always Carsten, great to see you. Yes. You you are serving some German uh, stereotypes because only I know that in your beer glass is tea, not beer. <laughs> that you just okay. had. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You were drinking okay. it. I was like, oh, okay, he's <laughs> showing you know, how to be German. <laughs> okay, I have my Germany, iced tea. Okay. Yeah, All right, that's is, perfect. This is, this is tea, yeah, and uh, it, yeah, of course. But on the other hand, in Germany, they would say we all are, already have firearm. That means uh, the evening after work. So we say mm -hmm. fire party, the, the one to one by one translation would be party evening, but uh, no. So, but having a party, it could be a beer as well. So cheers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <great. laughs> again, again, thank you both. Um, and um, yeah. I will hopefully um, get to see you, you know, maybe one day in person. Um, whether I that's so. both of you coming <laughs> here or, you know, I'm still trying to get to Germany after all these years. So yeah. um, you're you know, maybe, more than welcome. <laughs> maybe that yeah, will happen, um, yeah. you know, in the, in the very near future. Um, but again, yeah. thank you both. Enjoy your, your afternoon. Yeah. yeah you, you have a nice day yeah. too. Okay. Thanks for you having us. Have a nice us. day. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Bye, Laurie.